Hello, good morning everyone. This is such a beautiful day. And of course, we're going to have our new lesson for today. I hope you're ready because I am ready. So before we begin our lesson for today, let's have first our opening prayer. Let's have our watch prayer. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Watch prayer. Lord, give us the courage to do and practice the value of punctuality and honesty, and also be able to promote it to our loved ones to give dignity and honor. Also, Lord, help us to bind ourselves together to do the project watch for the benefit of the young and our society. And finally, help us, Lord, to be an agent of change so we can do wonders for our country and leave a lasting legacy. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome, Grade 7, for your music class for today. Of course, I will be your Mappet teacher for today. I am Mrs. Joanne May Olive L. Dandoy, your MAPE subject teacher. Now, before we begin our formal lesson for today, let's have first a drill. The title of the drill is Sing With Me, okay? So, here is the direction. I will perform some vocal exercises and you will follow after me. Let's begin. All right. Let's start. As you could see in the projector, in the PowerPoint presentation, you can see the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Now, how do we do this using our voices? All right, so I want you to listen carefully to teacher and later on, follow me. In three, two, one. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Again, one more time. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Now, let's do it in reverse. Do, Ti, La, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. Now, let's do it again. In its normal tune and in reverse. Ready? Three, two, one. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Very good! Right, so now before we begin with our formal lesson, of course, we're going to have a review first of our previous lesson. Who can tell me what was our lesson before? Yes, you're right. It is the music tribes of Mamanua and Manobo. Now, what are the different music tribes of Mamanua and Manobo? Let's start with Mamanua. First is the Bai Puja. Next is Kitcharao. Third is the Kong King. Alright, so the Mamanwa people are known to have kinky hairs. That's why one of their musical tribal is entitled Kong King because it represents the physical characteristics of the Mamanwa people. Alright, so now let's proceed with the Manobo. What are the musical, the music tribals of Manobo? First is the Kahimonan. Next is the Panangkit. Alright, so these songs represent each tribe's culture and beliefs. Now, it is very important that we should know the significance of this music to their tribes. Because as Filipinos, specifically as Mindanaoans, we should always be aware of on how the indigenous people live and preserve their culture from then up to now. Now, based on the drills that we did a while ago and also with our motivational activities, what do you think is our lesson for today? 
Yes, you're right. Our lesson is from quarter three, module seven. The title is Musical Instruments of the Mamanua and Manobo Tribes. Now, we are done discussing about their musical tribes. Now, let's proceed with their musical instruments. Of course, if we know the different music of each tribe, we should also be aware of the instruments used whenever they perform their music. Let's start! For this lesson, we have our learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to A. Distinguish the different musical instruments of Mamanua and Manobo tribes. Of course, that is the main goal of this lesson. For you to distinguish the different instruments used in performing the music of Mamanua and Manobo tribes. Letter B. Identify the significance of the vocal music of Mamanua and Manobo tribes. We know that each tribe has different music. Now, it is your job to identify what are the significance or the importance of those music to each tribe. Letter C, to strengthen the values that the Mindanaoan tribes has. Of course, if we know about the culture of each tribe, which are the Mamanua and Manobo, now we can identify the values that they have and we could also apply it to our daily lives. This could help to strengthen our values as Filipinos and particularly as Mindanao. Now look at the picture. We have different instruments in the picture. Are you familiar with these instruments? These are the instruments used in performing the music of the Mamanwa and Manobo tribes. We are going to identify each instrument that are in the photo. So now, let's proceed with the musical instruments of the Manobo and Mamanua tribes. Now, as you could see, the Manobo and Mamanua tribes has merely the same instruments used whenever they perform their music. First instrument is what we call the kubing. Look at the picture. Kubing. Okay, so kubing or the indigenous jaws harp can be considered one of the popular musical instruments among indigenous tribes. It is made of bamboo strip and designed with beautiful carvings, and this musical instrument has versions from different tribes, such as the Tagbanwas, Arobing, Palawans, Ardi, and the Kulaing of the Yakan and Tausu. So mostly, this instrument is used by not just the Manobo and Mamanwa tribes, but there are lots of tribes who uses this instrument. If you go to some places where uh, indigenous people stay, you could see these instruments there. Uh, not, not like uh, the indigenous people that we see here in the city because they only use the improvised equipment. But when we go to the places where indigenous people are located, you could see that they use this kind of instrument. Right? So the next instrument is what we call the saguisui. It is the manobos call the manobos call the ring flute as a saguisui. It is commonly made from bamboo and has a ring wrapped around the blowing end of the flute. Hence the name, the ring is commonly made with rattan but can also be made with leaves. As you can see, indigenous people are very artistic. They create their musical instrument using bamboos and leaves because that's part of their talent as tribal people. All right, so the next one is the kogo. As you can see in the picture, you can see a manobo woman playing a kogo. The kogo is a one-stringed lute popular to the Manobo tribe of Mindanao. It is played with a bow made of horse hair and the instrument is commonly played by Manobo women during their free time, along with the kubing and saguisui. 
these are instruments that stimulate speech. All right, so now let's proceed to the next musical instrument. The next instrument is what we call the takumbok. As you could see in the picture, that is an example of the takumbok instrument. Although drums and gongs are more prominent musical instruments of the manobo, playing those instruments outside of rituals are considered taboo. Hence, the bamboo zither takumbok is used as an alternative, providing music for regular occasions. And the next one is the gimbal or gimbal. The gimbal is a percussion instrument made of carved bahi or beetle or beetle nut wood with a tanned animal hide stretched over the opening along with the agong it is one of the instruments used in sacred ritual performances the mamanwa also uses a variation of this instrument called a gimba which uses iguana hide so as you could uh, as you could observe the takumbok is somehow uh, made of uh, a bamboo zither, while the gimbar is used uh, is made by a beetle knot wood or uh, what we call the iguana hide. So tribal people are really very artistic when it comes to creating their instruments because they do not need to buy uh, expensive parts of their instrument because they believe that by improvising by using the availability of what is uh, the availability of an, a material they believe that they could use it to make their own instruments the third instrument is what we call the agung this one is very familiar because you could see this anywhere even uh, those people who perform the kadayawan like that because uh, this is mostly what we use whenever we perform in street dances all right so another sacred ritual instrument used by the manobo is the agung along with the gimbal and its sacred nature this allows the tribes men to use this instrument outside of the rituals or for leisure a set of 10 gongs of varying sizes on a stand is called an ayu while another five set of handheld agungs are called sagagung Okay, so this individual uh, instrument is what we call agung, but if it is a set of handheld agungs, five set, it is called sagagung. Here in the presentation, you could see an example of an agung or also what we call ayung. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the agung consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten agungs. And on the other photo, you can see the sagagong. Uh, it has five sets of agung. That's why it is called sagagong. The next instrument is what we call the kudlung. The kudlung is a wooden two-stringed lute of the Mamanwa and out other Lumad tribes. It has two strings that serve different purposes, one for melody and one for drone. It has eight frets to create various speech and it is normal adorned with horse hair. Next instrument is what we call the pendag. As you can see in the photo, there's a man playing the pendag. So the pendag is a leap valley flute used by the manobo to stimulate animal sounds. So if you, when we say stimulate, it means uh, they try to they try to copy uh, the sound of animals. It is difficult to play and is usually performed by men during their free time. Its mythical connotations states that the sound is perceived as the cry of a pregnant crocodile, prominent amongst the Manobo creation myth. So as uh, it has been mentioned in the beginning of the sentence that it stimulates animal sound, uh, they gave also an example of what type of animal sound. Some are the cry of a pregnant crocodile. Okay, so those are the different musical instruments of the Manobo and Mamanwa tribe. Now let's proceed with their music. One of the examples of the music of Manobo is what we call the Kahimonan. 
It has a, an English translation. Let's read the English translation. God, God the how. So it is all about their message to God the how. Visit the settlement this day. Please accompany us all the time. Please accompany us for our protection. God who dwells in all direction. Tahao who knows the flow of the river of life. Closely accompany us here in this life and after. So obviously the song Kahimonan uh, talks about uh, the people who asks God Tahao for for a direction of good life and also a protection uh, they ask God the how to accompany them so that they would have protection and also to identify uh, to be uh, to for them to feel the uh, the uh, uh, abundance of God the how by closely accompanying them next song is what we call the panangki Okay, this song is still from the Manobo. The English translation is Listen to me, Manonggoong. See how I am. Won't you pity me, Ngo? If I ask you for something, look at me. Help me in my trouble. Someone will pay you back much more than what is given. Okay, so another song, it still talks about uh, them asking for a guidance to their deities. Uh, to for them to pity and this this song is all about asking for something whenever they have uh, something in trouble uh, they ask the deities to help them now we are already done with identifying the different instruments of the manobo and mamanwa tribes also you have known the different music of the manobo and mamanwa tribes and also the significance of it in their culture Again, uh, these tribes has different music because it describes their culture and belief as I indigenous people. It is very important for them to preserve their music because it is also it also means that they are, they are preserving their beliefs as indigenous people. And now let's proceed with your activity. This activity is called, Which One Is It Again? Alright, so I believe you are already familiar with the answers because we just discussed it a while ago. Direction, can you identify which is which? In this activity, use the visual below to separate the instruments unique to the Mamanwa and the Manobo, as well as those shared between them and other indigenous tribes. Afterwards, submit the answer, uploading it to my messenger. All right, I will give you time to answer the question. First, number one, instrument of the Manobo. Number two, instrument of the Mamanwa. And what are the instruments both tribes shared? Okay, the, an some, the answers are given below. So what you're going to do, you're just going to choose and then separate them from each other uh, which one is the instrument that the manobo only use instrument that the mamanwa only use and the instruments that they both use right so for your assignment number one in your in your opinion how did some musical instruments become integrated in both culture of course as i said a while ago some of the instruments are used by the mamanwa people and some are used by the Manobo people. But also, there are some instruments that are used by both. So, your task is to identify how did some musical instruments become integrated in both culture. Number two, from your past lessons on indigenous music, such as those from Cordillera and Visayas, are there any instrument used by the tribes of Agusan del Norte that is similar or even the same? What are they and why are they similar? As part of our discussion, I want you to have a reflection of our lesson for today about the musical instruments of the Mamanwa and Manobo people. Alright, so I want you to write from the heart 
what are the things that you have learned from these tribes and what are the things that you want to to apply in your daily lives as a person and and as a learner one of those is the beliefs that they preserve all throughout the time it is very important that we should have something to believe to because it completes us as a person all right so what don't forget your task is to make a reflection about our lesson for today that would be all thank you and goodbye thank you so much for listening